Hello, this is Kenneth Wong, contributing editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. Most of you probably have 2D drawings lying around somewhere in your archives. So what happens when the part you need exists only as 2D drawings? Well, that's when you create a 3D part from the front, side and top views of a 2D drawings. Not exactly my favorite operation, to be frank. Now let's have a look at how you might do that in Solid Edge with Synchronous Technology 2. If you open a drawing, right under Tools, you'll find the option called Create 3D. This lets you rearrange your front, side and top views in a box-like setup in 3D space, so you can start extruding and cutting holes to build the 3D part that you need. You can align or fold your views in the first position or third position. Those are the two options that you've got. The results are slightly different. Let me show you. Okay, now that I've folded all these views into exactly the way I want it, let me clear all the dimensions for better viewing. I am now going to extrude this profile to the next vertex or the next edge to get the basic shape that I can start working with. After that, I'll use the profile of the top view to trim the bottom plate's corners, like this. In the same way, I'll also use the side view's profile to trim the middle plate. Well, by now you can probably guess what I'm going to do next. I'm going to use the same methods to punch holes into the bottom plate and into the middle plate. And there you have it, your 3D part created basically from a bunch of 2D drawings. Now sometimes, when you fold the views in the default positions, you might not get them lined up exactly the way you want it. See this gap here? So this is where you might use the Fold Line option to line them up. When you specify where to fold the views, they are positioned exactly along the line or along the edge, so you get this perfectly aligned box to start working from. Now let me also use the fold lines in a more dramatic fashion. When you know that the extrusion you want to perform works much better in a different position other than the default folding alignment, perhaps you might want to fold it along a different line, like this. Since we are working in a direct modeling environment in Solid Edge with synchronous tech, you can also move your sketch. That's much easier than trying to reproject your top view or side view onto another plane. You can simply drag your sketch to a new place and snap it onto that plane. Then you can start extruding again at that exact place where you need to do it. The import option has a step-by-step -step wizard to guide you through the process so you can specify the unit measurements, line styles, fonts, colors and so on from the old drawings that you're importing from. Converting 2D sketches to 3D is not always straightforward. Sometimes you're forced to resort to trial by error method by nudging and adjusting edges here and there. But with the flexibility of Solid Edge with Synchronous Technology 2, I feel I have many different ways to rebuild the 3D parts from a 2D drawing. So until next time, this is Kenneth Wong for Desktop Engineering Magazine, a 2D to 3D convert for the time being.